Hello world, it's Curtis Potter with Boundless Inspiration. Today I wanted to talk to you about just the push through. So I'm not gonna lie, there was a couple things that didn't go my way today. Um, had a couple curveballs thrown at me. I, uh, I was physically exhausted. I put in a long weekend this weekend. Saturday I worked a 20 hour day with three hours of drive time. In a 24-hour span, I put in 23 of 24 hours. I mean, it was long, it was cold, worn out, physically exhausting. Put in another long 12, physically demanding 12-hour day yesterday. You know, today I just woke up exhausted. Sorry, I'm in the locker room at the YMCA, so there might be some noise. But I was just thinking about it, and I was like, I really wanted to come to you and talk to you about just handling the emotions, the thoughts, the feelings that I was going through um, at the moment. See, I um, got everything done today that I essentially needed to, and I was just sitting there, sitting there at the house, and I, I realized I was worn out, and I was like, you know, I really wanted to go to the gym. I um, had gotten an email and talked with a lady up here at the YMCA in Avon about opening, um, starting my pass here, and she she sent me this seven day free pass so I could come and check out the why. And I was like, I wanted to, but my mind was trying to give me all these excuses not to. Like, nope, don't go to the gym. Nope, you're exhausted. Nope, you didn't get the amount of sleep you wanted to today. I mean, it was crazy. Even as I was eating dinner, I was thinking about things that I didn't want to do, but I wanted to. Like, for instance, I wanted to grab a bag of chips and eat with dinner because just, you know, I just miss them almost, them sweets and them deep fried chips and stuff. I haven't eaten any in like 90 days. And I even wanted to drink a soda with dinner. And I was like, no, drink a water, drink a water, drink a water, right? You know, I'm kind of been hard on myself, um, you know, in my goals this year. And I'm not going to lie, I did meet in the middle and I drank a... Um, Gatorade, which probably has quite a bit of sugar. I don't even want to look, but I felt like it was the happy median. It was a little bit better of a choice between that and a soda. Um, but then even after dinner, I was like, don't go to the gym. You don't have to. Your body's looking great. You don't need it. You know, like all those thoughts in your mind. And I was sitting there and I did that five, four, three, two, one, go. And I learned this um, on a podcast. I listened to an Ed Milet podcast, and there's a lady who wrote a super inspirational book that I'm gonna I'm gonna get and read this year as well. But she said that anytime she's struggling to do something, that's what she does. She counts down five, four, three, two, one, go. And it was like I actually had to do that today. So, you know, I mean, my gym regimen has been amazing. You would think like somebody that's been going to the gym as often as I have for the last 90 days, it wouldn't be a struggle at this point. And most days it's not. Most days it's not I, like I really get excited about going to the gym and I get excited about eating healthy and I'm, you know, I'm just receiving it. But today, again, the cold weather, the worn out physically, mentally, emotionally, you know, our church was online yesterday, so it didn't get to go in person. You know, there's all these things that can happen in life to get you off of your routine, get you off your schedule, have you making excuses, have you procrastinating. And I was like, you know what? No, I have a goal that I've committed to myself that I'm going to do. And I was like, I'm going. And see, this is the thing is, this is why I'm going to tell you this is because when you push through, as soon as I had walked my butt out to the vehicle and got inside and started it, it was like from there on out, I was smiling. I was happy. I, I had to celebrate that I pushed through. And see, from there, I was like, as soon as I got in the, in the vehicle, it was no longer a burden to me. Even as I was walking into the Y, I had a smile on my face. Like my whole vibes just changed. And I was smiling at people, saying hello, like holding the door for people. Talked to the front desk person about the past. And, um, you know, 
she was amazing, very helpful. I was asking questions and she was like, man, we're really excited to have you here. And I was like, man, that's what's, that's the difference about the why versus like LA Fitness or Me Fitness or Planet Fitness or whatever, like just welcoming. And I was looking at all the people and, and everybody was just excited to be here. Tons of families. You know, there's so many opportunities for kids here. No, this isn't a commercial for the why, but I'm just telling you that like when I finally pushed through what I was resisting, there was joy that came out of that. And see, I realized that too, like with my diet, with, with a lot of the stuff that I'm doing, I'm reaping the rewards of it and it's so worth it. So, you know, I just invite you today to see what it is that, that you're resisting because see what you resist attracts to you and how can you push through and what is it going to take for you to do that push here is it going to be the five four three two one let's go just jump up and go and do it don't don't resist at that point just go like you're starting to race go what is it going to be because i have faith in you that you know what if, if you're thinking of something right now as i'm stating this then you already know what it is and you know that you've been wanting to do it and you know you've been resisting it, procrastinating, making excuses, whatever it is that you haven't done it. And see, now I want you to think about the joy. Now picture yourself actually achieving the goal that you have set, the thing that you want to do. Like vision yourself doing that. And see, that's what I was doing. I was like, I know what I'm going to look like physically at the end of this year. And that's part of the whole boundless, becoming boundless is on every spectrum so that when I'm getting up on a stage and speaking to people, then you know it's not just like, hey, I'm boundless in this, but uh, I'm really overweight and getting exhausted or out of shape. Hey, I'm balanced to this, but I'm, I'm not a great father. Hey, I'm balanced to this, but I'm not a great spouse. Like, I'm working on everything because see... I believe in the Lord above and that's what he really sees in you is the best on every level and we're capable of it. So today, I just invite you, step it up on every level, five, four, three, two, one, let's go, achieve it, believe it, you can do it, you're capable of it, you're worthy of it, you deserve it. So today, here's your push through. Let's get this. And you know what? If you want to humbly admit whatever you've been struggling with and making excuses for, put it in the chat. Put it in the comments. Say, hey, you know what? I've been resisting this. But you know what? It's not even the end of the second week of 2022. It's going to take some really hard dedication, turning this into a habit and improving my habit for this year. Curtis, can you keep me accountable? I'll be happy to do this with you. We're doing this together. Every single day, we're just a step closer to being balanced, baby. And the rewards are worth it. I love you. Like, share, comment, tag someone. You know the drill. Send in a DM so your people can see this too. And we all can get our push through together. Have a great day. I love you all.